easy to use. So the materials that you're gonna to need today are a pencil and eraser, a nice dark outlining marker, whatever medium that you're using to color in your artwork. If you have a nice piece of art paper, that might work a little bit better for blending. But if you have just a regular piece of white paper, that'll work too. So for the first thing that we're gonna draw is a straight line from one side of the paper to the other, making sure that our paper is going landscape as well. Okay. That's about good enough there. On top of that line, what you're going to do is you're gonna draw the top of the sun. So we're kind of using this line here as a line for our horizon, okay? So we're gonna bring this up, drawing a curved line, so it's kind of just showing a part of the sun, only a little section of the sun here. Then we're gonna start drawing some mountains as well, okay? So what I want you guys to do now is take uh, your pencil and start over here. And you're gonna draw a really crinkly, bumpy, not perfect line because these are gonna be our mountains, okay? And I do want you to go past that line, okay? And I want you to stop there. And then you're gonna draw a straight line going across that way. You could erase this line that's inside of our mountains that we've just drawn here because this is going to be in the foreground, which means in the front of our picture. Now I'm gonna draw another mountain on the left side of my page on this side. Going again. But this time I'm gonna stop at the line that we first drew in the center here. Again, bumpy, not perfect. The more bumpy and not perfect that you make it, the more it looks like a mountain, okay? And that's where my mountain's gonna stop right there. That's gonna be kind of further off in the background, right? Okay? So now what we're going to do is we're gonna draw kind of like some beaches near these mountains. This gets a little tricky, but you guys are almost second graders and I know you can do it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from this little point right here at the end of the mountain on the left side. And I'm going to kind of swoop it down and along like that. It's going to kind of give it the illusion of a beach shoreline there. Okay. Now we're going to draw some clouds. So this is what we're going to do. I'm gonna draw some, some curved lines. already kind of started here but now what I want you guys to do is go ahead and now outline everything that we've just drawn here.
I'm gonna start with my son. I want you to guys to use only warm colors for your son. So does that mean I could use a blue for my son? Or a purple? No, I gotta use yellow, red, orange, and I'll let you guys use pink if you like. I have a special art paper. It's is a watercolor paper. I'm gonna do a couple of blending techniques. If you don't have an art paper, this is gonna be a little bit hard. Um, so if not, that's okay. Just go ahead and color it in the warm colors. Okay. I'm gonna add in some yellow. Add in some red. It's more of like a pinkish color, but it's okay. Blending it back together with the yellow. I'm going to color in my mountains now. Uh, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and take a second to erase any extra pencil lines that you don't need. I almost forgot to let you guys know about that, but it's super important. Go ahead and do that. Okay, I'm just going to take a brown and I'm going to go on the inside line of that line that we've just created for our mountains. just along the side there. Okay. All right, and now I'm gonna take a gray and do pretty much the same thing I did with the sun. But watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna blend it out into the mountain there. Really make sure that it's blended together well. If you don't have an art paper, I want you to just go ahead and color your mountains in with a, like a lighter brown color. Okay, and then go ahead and do the same thing to this side, but not down here. This is gonna be kind of like our beach area. So just right here. Okay, so our mountains are colored in. Now what I want you guys to do is you're gonna take kind of like a peachy color if you have something like this um, or anything that's kind of similar to the color of sand. And then I'm gonna have you guys color in this little section down here. And remember that technique I told everyone about? You outline what you're coloring in and then go ahead and start coloring that in. It makes it a lot easier for you. Now I want you guys to color in your water that's down below our sun here, all this right here. And if you want, you can add in like a little bow or whatever you want to do. Maybe just like a little triangle, a little stick. even add like a bird in the sky. Just by kind of drawing some M 
some shapes. That's up to you. Then I want you to take more of like a, a water kind of color. So I'm going to be using two different types of blues. I'm going to use this one for my, uh, for my sky. And this one's going to be for my water. Turquoise for water, blue for the sky. try to use a little bit more blending techniques again if you don't have you know multiple markers multiple different colors um, or art paper like this just go ahead and color it in turquoise great right, so now that our water is colored in we're gonna go ahead and start coloring in our sky don't color in your clouds. I'm going to leave those white. Again, outline everywhere where you want your color and then go ahead and start coloring. No color if you do that. I'm going to color in my boat sail yellow, and the bottom part of the boat brown, and I'm ready to go. This might be a little tricky for you guys, but like I said before, you guys are almost in second grade, so I want to give you something a little bit harder. Hope you guys are staying super healthy, super safe. Hope to see you guys soon. Bye, guys. Bye.